What's up YouTube, it's Dean Anthony again. Thank you again for uh, checking out my channel. Uh, today we're gonna be going over five items that are non-photography that I use on all my shoots. Uh, these are items that I bring every single time just to help out with the experience. Not necessarily a camera or a lens, but it's something that'll definitely help you. All right, so the first item that I use on every single shoot, especially when I'm working with models or just an individual, um, I always bring, like to bring either a tablet or an iPad with me. Now, the reason why I would bring either a tablet or an iPad, it always doubles as a great mirror. Uh, people can see themselves, they can fix their hair, they can adjust their makeup, anything that they need. So just bringing a tablet or iPad just comes really in handy. Another uh, reason why I would bring one, you might need to look up an idea or there's a reference that uh, someone might have. I know particularly on my iPad, I have um, um, uh, AT&T service on it. And so because I have that service, we can always connect to the Wi-Fi or connect to the internet and just find out some uh, information if we want to change a shoot or we want to adjust an idea. All right, so item number two that I bring, I bring clamps. Um, I have about three or four of these clamps. You can get them from like two to three dollars at uh, your local store. Uh, but these clamps come in handy, no matter whether it's hanging up a backdrop or keeping some clothes together. You never know what you're gonna need them for. Uh, they're just a really good utensil to have uh, that you might not think about. Um, I know I personally use them to make sure that my backdrops stay completely together. Um, actually, let me include a picture of one of my backdrops here. But like clamps, they come really uh, in handy. So you want to make sure that you keep a, a few clamps. And that's how you can uh, make sure that you're always prepared for your shoot. All right. Um, item number three that I bring on every single shoot. Um, I learned to bring these uh, after shooting so many graduation shoots. But I always try to bring bobby pins and hair ties. Like every single time, I'm not sure if you can see it. Like, but bobby pins and hair ties. Um, when you shoot graduation shoots, uh, a lot of times they're outside and you can't tell when it's a windy day. We've chased after many, many graduation hacks in my day. Uh, so we want to make sure that you bring something to hold uh, people's hair down. Um, do like I did. I asked my sister, how exactly do you use these hair ties or bobby pins? That's how you can make sure that you're holding hair down well. And also, it can just make sure that whatever style that you're looking for is also good to have in the studio. Say, for instance, you're looking for something that's a little bit more slick back in the hair and the hair is just popping up a little bit too much that you're not comfortable editing it out uh, in post. You want to bring that bobby pin or a hair tie just to keep that hair together. All right, so number four, the fourth thing that I'll bring on every single shoot is a speaker. And so the reason why I bring a speaker, one, it helps with the overall experience of your photo shoot. Um, while you're setting up, uh, someone gets there early, you don't want that awkward silence. A uh, great way to like just go ahead and learn, to, uh, just get to know the person that you're taking that uh, photo of. It's just like, hey, here's my phone, pick a playlist that you like uh, for the shoot. Let them listen to the music that they want to listen to. That's how you can capture uh, that natural expression out of, out of them during the shoot and just like keep things going. Uh, it just really helps with the experience. I've had families that have really enjoyed it, kept kids a little bit uh, more preoccupied They're singing a song while I'm setting up a light. So it's just a really great way to, you know, to increase your experience as a photographer. All right, so the last item is a little bit, it's a little bit out there, but I like to bring candy and snacks. Um, when you shoot with different models or whatnot, you're usually out there, or families, uh, usually out there for a few hours. And having just like a little snack for the people, a little bit of candy, just to keep the spirits up, just to uh, keep things moving up, goes a long way. Uh, something I want to add on with that snacks, I always bring a case of water in my car. I leave it there, just how I always have water available. So just for someone's like, uh, my blood sugar low, up until like, I'm just thirsty. We have something for you, and it's just like, oh, I can run to my car real quick. Here's a a bag of pretzels or here's a bottle of water uh, just to show that the person that you shoot may feel appreciated you want to always make sure that you're considering the experience that they're having all right youtube thank you again for watching this and this was my top five things that i bring to every single shoot um no matter what the shoot is these are five things that you can always have to increase your uh, just the experience of your photo shoot so before you leave make sure you like this video if you liked it if you didn't like it make sure you hit the dislike two times uh, but make sure you comment uh, at the bottom with any questions or anything that you think I should add to my uh, my own shoots uh, but thank you again I hope you have a great rest of your day